Hey there, David Hawk here. Today I wanted to share with you about creating layers in XCS, how to create them, why to create them. I may just be slow, but I really just kind of figured this stuff out and it really will speed up your efficiency with changing parameters and things like that if you'll use layers. So I want to take you over here to my XCS account and you can see I've got different colors in here. Let me just take that out. This is going to be a business card on a metal card stock and it's got different colors as a layer but you can see they're all engraved. So they're the same thing, they're just different colors and it's because I've set up layers down here. So first of all let's talk about why you might want to do that. And it's because if you go down and select this layer you can see it selects all that stuff that is in that layer. And what you can do then is change the processing powers and speeds and it changes everything for that layer. So you don't have to go select these one at a time there. You can see this one, it changed, this one changed, and this one changed while these are still the same as they were. So that's how you can speed it up. I've got my, got my test engrave here. And if you want something, one part of it really light and another part of it really dark, you can use layers to do that. And in this card, I've got my name and then personalized gifts and handcrafted in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And then, of course, the phone number and website are going to be a little bit different as far as the texture of it. And I am planning on making this a metal business card. I'm just using this. This is a piece of basswood. And I wanted to use it just to show you the difference. And I'll run one of these test grids on the card too so that I can see different colors. And I'll show you that once we get it. So let's make a new layer out of this part here. And you just come down here and say move to. And if you say move to, you can change it to whatever color you want. Now if you use an existing color, obviously it's going to put it in that particular let's just do that real quick let's do this one blue so let's see if it changed nope so i didn't know if it would do that or not so it didn't automatically assign the power and speed to that particular one so you have to go do the layers first and then make your changes to make sure everything changes so here we can do move to and let's do that one orange you can see it changes to orange Let's put this one in orange too. So there, now they're both orange. And now this thing will go ahead and print everything. I don't have this in any layer, but I'm going to have to do that individually anyway. So that'd kind of be a waste of time. But anyway, that's how and why to use layers. And in another video, I'll show you printing this card. I haven't actually laid it out. This works for any laser too, or any X-Tool laser. This is XCS software. It'll work for any of the X-Tool lasers. And it's just a great way to speed up your time and efficiency. So I wanted to share this video with you. I hope you got some uh, value out of this. If you did, hey, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Give me a like and a share. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.